This is the 2016 GMC install video for the front end replacement. Um, to start with, we use a nut driver. It's got a 932nd bit on the end of it. We've got to take a couple screws loose up underneath here. There's two of them. The one of them first that you're going to do with this thing. The next one, we got to get some of this apart before you can get to. We've got to take this plastic off, and it's got some clips in there. You're going to take that one bolt out, and there's one star. Um, screwdriver you're going to need maybe there's two or three we've got to be able to get in behind this little cover right here to get to another bolt that's right there to finish taking um, it apart so you can pull that off of there the reason you're taking that plastic off is you have to we're gonna get that one straight up above you have to take that plastic off of there to get to the bolts to remove the chrome bumper and unfortunately they put a lot more parts on it after the chrome bumper was put on but you gotta remove okay once that's done goes there you gotta pop this out it's got some little clips back there right on. okay you don't have to take it all away that's good enough there's one more bolt it's gonna be the 932nd Jonathan's gonna get over here once you get it there's a little pocket right there you're just gonna go straight up and that's going to, it's going to be straight right there. You're just going to take that 932nd bolt out. Yeah, it's loose. It's just hanging there. Still in the thread. There's that little bolt that's got to come out. Once that bolt's out, and you got to pop this little plastic out. It's got some little clips in there that pop it in. And then that's how that's coming out of there. It'll pop loose pretty easy until you get to right there. We've done the other side already. And you kind of see how that's loose. Well, there's some little clips right here that's up underneath there. I'm going to get up underneath there and there's I got to take a screwdriver and separate them from the little plastic clips up underneath there. You can just take a regular screwdriver. <laughs> So I'm going to get up underneath. Chewie's going to help me from out here. Just grab it. I to get to. Remember how I got to it. Okay, I'm. In between the frame boards, looking up there, you come this tree? Yes. There you go. If you get right in between the frame horns, you can get to them, mainly these ones that are right up here, because you got to really get in between the frame horns and look up to get to these. These are right there in front of you. It's really easy to. Get, get those, but right here there's some little plastic clips that that's wedged in. You just got to pull those little plastic clips down and then this thing will slide right out of there. So, Chewie's going to take that and get that out of the way. You'll replace that, but first you got to take it off just because we got to get to these bolts down here. In order to get them to them bolts down there, I'm going to grab my metric or my nut driver. I'm going to get my screwdriver. We got to come up to the cover up here, and there's just a few little pegs. There's, there's actually a few. There's 12 of them. We're going to take these guys out. There's 12 of these guys that you're going to have to take out. Just a little series around here that you're going to take out of there. And you're going to remove that guy and put it somewhere to get out of your way. I may do that. I may just put this out of the way real quick so we don't have to worry about being in our way. We've taken these guys out already. I was going to put these back so we could show you, but I forgot. There's, there's four, two, three, four, ten millimeter little bolts that need to come out of there. Okay? Um, take those guys out with your nut driver, and then you're going to come down here in the front at the bottom. And what is there? There's two of them down here that have got to be removed. 
So yeah, unfortunately these got to come out because there's your bumper bolts right there. And I'm mistaken, there's, there's four of them. There's four of these guys too. All the way out here on the outside. Take those four guys out and then we can remove the grill. Pull this guy out a little bit over here. You gotta kind of lift up on this part. Lift up first, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, if I remember right, Chewy, if you want to grab, I believe we can pull out just a little bit on the bottom, and then it just comes right off, okay? So Chewy's, if, I'm gonna put this on the table, get it out of the way, because I'm sure it's very, very expensive. And now we gotta remove the bumper. There's two braces up underneath, one on each side. We're going to show you after we've got the bumper off how to take them off because you can't really see up underneath there. But right now, I'm going to remove this bolt. And there's another one down here that you got to remove this bolt and this upper one. There's two of those on each side that we're going to remove. 18 millimeters. lights or sensors there's a plug part of the harness that you gotta move up underneath you can see it I've unplugged it already it plugged together as a bat right there but in order to pull it apart there's that little red clip you're gonna pull that red clip back and then you press that black part down right there right in front of you, you can press that black part down and then they pull apart okay but you gotta pull that little red pin back first to, in order to do that and pull that harness off of that bumper and the rest of the harness is gonna stay in the bumper right there we're gonna take this one move Julie's gonna grab the other side if you would we're gonna take that bumper come straight off off of there after that I'm going to set it over here on this cart, and I just want to show you the brackets that go. These are the side brackets right here that we're talking about. There's actually two bolts up underneath here. I took one completely out, loosened the other, dropped this one on the outside, and that bar can pivot down to get out of your way, or just take the thing completely off. But if you don't want to lose parts or something, you want to leave it on the truck, you probably leave it on the truck. I just take it off, just bolt it back in your factory chrome bumper and let me show you the little bracket over here right here is where that other end of that bracket that bracket went to it's just it's, ten, it's a 15 millimeter bolt up underneath there that goes to take that loose and now we're going to get our brackets and show you how to put the brackets on we've got the bracket mounted on one side just so you know what it's supposed to look like you can see how the bracket when it comes off the frame it actually angles to the outside I'm going to show you how to mount both this one on here, but this is the top bracket. Probably best to probably put this bracket on after you've mounted the front end, but we wanted to be able to show you before it was, the front end was on there. That way you can see it better explained on how it goes. You just take that one top center bolt out there and um, re replace it with the factory bolt, and you're going to put that bracket on there just as it is, as you see right there. And that's a 15 millimeter on there. On this other side, when you take the bumper off, there's just this little pad right here that you need to just go ahead and take it off. You don't need to put it back on. Um, when, I did forget to say on this side here, in order to get this long bolt out, because Chevy puts it where they all go on from one side, and to get this long bolt out, you actually got to loosen all three of these, or you can take them out and take that plate off, get that bolt out, and then you put the plate back on. And um, you're going to replace this bolt with one provided it's a half by five inch instead of this one. You can see there's just a little difference in it and it takes up the difference for your bracket that's going on there. On this side here, you saw me take out that long one. There's, there's um, a long one and a short one. You're going to have two bolts on the outside on this bracket and you're going to have two bolts on the inside on this bracket but one of them goes all the way through. So on one side, 
on the inside on this one, you're going to have one. On the outside of that one, you're going to have the other. That's just because that bolt goes all the way through. But anyhow, it's the tow hook bolts is what we're taking. Once you've got the bolts loose, you can just take your tow hook out. But these bolt, the tow hooks will go back in as you saw on the other side. So you're going to take your half by five, put your bracket up on there, make sure it goes all the way in. And you put your tow hook in there. Get you another set of hands and it helps a little bit. But get everything lined up. That bolt goes through there. And then this bolt is going to go right back through the bottom. Or to the side, sorry. Go right back to the side with, for the tow hook. Now, before you tighten those bolts, there's one more that has to be done. Again, like I said, I've got half that's provided. I'm going to put all that on there. This is very important to do this. You have to, before you tighten those bolts, it's a pinch bolt. There's a big hole right there you're going to see in your bracket. This goes on top of your frame and then you can drop that bolt down in there and what that bolt does is it pinches the frame between that two inch square tab and your bracket and it keeps that bracket from able to go up and down. You want to go ahead and put that on there, and you want to tight, keep it that bracket as far back as it'll go, and tighten that bolt first. That way you know your bracket is um, level, and then you can tighten your side ones. If you don't, maybe your side ones ain't going to allow it to suck all the way up. So you need to do that first in order to do that. Okay, so tighten those brackets up completely. And again, like I say, you're going to use this bolt here for your other bracket, but don't put it on until after the front end's hung there. Um, and now what we got to do is we have to put our grill back in. All your pieces are going to go back together just as they came out. You're going to snap all that back together. You're going to put your bottom bolts back in. Maybe we'll just do that real quick so I can show you. Then you gotta put your piece of plastic back in there. Put your plastic piece back on there and just snap it back into place just like it came out, okay? And your, your sides you're gonna snap back into place. I got my little tab underneath there. All that's going to snap right back into place. Okay, and just do it all the way through. Make sure you put all your top bolts back in that you took out. Put your top piece of plastic back in because you're done with all that. And you get that, and we're going to show you how to hang the front end. To put the fog light in the front end, you got to take it out of the, the chrome bumper here. And there's a series of seven bolts here you're going to take out. There's seven mil or 13 millimeters. Let's take them out. One spot right here where the harness is on, you just gotta pull that out. Put that plate to the side. And now you can take the light out by these little four little bolts right there, and then we're gonna put it into our front end, which you gotta do your light clip, pull that out, press that little black snap, kinda like we told you to do on the um, the main harness, and that comes out, and now we're gonna take the light out. Taking the light out, there's four 932nd bolts here. We've already kind of taken them out. I'm just showing you this one that goes right here. There's one, two, three, four. After you got that plate off of there, you unplug your your um, wire harness from right here. We've got the harness in the other bumper. I'll show you how that 
goes on there. Go ahead and take your light out. And the one deal on this one is the passenger light goes on driver, driver light goes on passenger, and you flip it back completely upside down. Okay, you switch sides and you flip it upside down. That is the only way without having to uh, make this grill guard really big or the front bumper replacement really big. We tried to do that, but it was just going to be too big. So we were able to shorten the skirt and make it look better higher off the ground, but you had to flip your light to do that. Here on the other side, we got the light mounted already. You're going to use four quarter inch bolts. You can see how this one's already bolted in there. Okay, light's plugged in. The sensors, which are right here, We've kind of taken one out, or I kind of unplugged one right here. There's one right there. You're going to take the, the factory housing out of the factory bumper and put it in there, and then your sensor goes back in there. You just spread these little clips apart like that. In that sensor, you get a screwdriver, and you can really do it a lot easier. And the sensor comes out just like that, okay? And then you're going to snap it back down inside there, okay? I got a little rubber grommet missing out of that thing. Make sure that thing stays on there. And then you can push that sensor back in there like that. And then you're going to plug the sensor back in. I may have it upside down. I got it upside down. There you go. Just like that. Your harness goes in there. Just make sure you don't get it reversed after you take it out of the factory bumper. When your sensor goes off on the right, it may be on the left or vice versa. And make sure all your lights and all that are plugged in. This is where you got to plug it back into the truck. These little holes right up in here, you can zip you can zip tie to right there so your harness doesn't uh, roll around and all that. And that's how you put your lights and your sensors in your front end. This is the 2016 GMC front end we just got to be putting on there. And this is to align this thing. This is an extreme. To align this thing, you'll measure on both sides to make sure it's the same distance from side to side. Um, the regular front end that's got the loops, the full top bar on there, what we call the loops that wrap around the side, you'll get right in the center of the truck. I line the rear view mirror up right here and you can step back and you can line the loop up with your hood line right there and then you make sure you get it right up and down. Um, and then to get it side to side, you can either measure the four plate or I usually measure what we call the loops to make sure it's the same from side to side. And once you get that, you can tighten, I tighten one side and then you get a jack on the other side and lift it up and that's when you can get back there and make sure it's the same and then tighten the other side. Remember there is on those brackets, these lower brackets, there's two half by one three quarter bolts on each bracket and then you got that upper that goes to that tab we showed you that was on there that is actually easier to put on after you hung the guard on your bottom brackets. But once you've got that done and aligned and make sure all bolts are tightened notice the, the sensors on this one, this one does have sensors in there. Again, just make sure all the bolts are tight and that's your install for your 2016 GMC half -tone.